I was really excited when I was asked to host Caring for Those Who Care because most people don't realize the sacrifices that some people have to make in order to take care of their loved ones. This episode tells the story of a granddaughter who gives back to her grandmother who gave her so much. My name is Leia. I'm uh, 25 years old, a Montrealer. I am a receptionist at the Y, as well as being a babysitter, as well as being a caregiver for my grandmother. I'm not really sure how I became a caregiver, it just kind of happened. I kind of see it like a pendulum, where you see the reality of the situation just coming forward and then you just embrace it. It started off as like a few hours every day because she was still pretty competent and then it moved to constant supervision as her uh, mental disease progressed. It's mixed dementia. It mimics Alzheimer's but in an indiscernible pattern. Every day is different, right, because there's no progression. So if we have a good day, she can wake up, she has breakfast and overly sweet coffee because she loves, loves sweet things. From there, we try to get her up. Then we take her to the park with the two dogs. She likes to sit and watch the kids play. She could sit there for an hour. Because uh, the exercise is exhausting, she has to take a nap. And during that time, I try to catch up on small daily tasks like laundry, that or I prepare dinner, or I clean up a little bit. So by the time my mother comes home, all she needs to do is make sure that my grandmother is in pajamas. Some days are more challenging than others, but when I made this decision, I understood that it was going to be the whole way through. And if she can go through that, I, I can take care of her. My outlook on life has changed a lot to just the kind of legacy that you want to leave behind, right? Uh, if you look at my grandmother's legacy, she was the best grandmother you could ever ask for. I don't feel like I'm wasting my youth because I found that like a huge amount of personal growth for me has come from caring for my grandmother. In high school, I used to live with her and it was kind of like the best time of my life because I would wake up, she'd have breakfast, she'd be playing classical music. She'd ask me about what my day would look like. She asked me about what I wanted to do, you know, and being taken seriously as a teenager was like, not a lot of people do that, so do you want to give that back to them now that you are able and now that they're in a position where they're forced to only receive? I remember the first time I went to the ballet ever with my grandmother. So we all just we get in the car and she's so excited and I just remember her sitting there and just like memories flooding back. She remembered all of the composition, she remembered the play. She would tell me about painters. I have we have all these like picture books. When I told her that I was going into painting and drawing, she was really excited for me. I mean, not all days are, you know, super positive. Some days you're feeling like, why am I doing this? This is so frustrating. But uh, I, ha I do a little thing when I get home sometimes on, on the really bad days where I write a letter to my grandma. So I have like little cue cards with like, dear meme, and then today sucked, or today was pretty good. Okay. I feel like that communication is back in a weird way because that's what you got to remember at the end of the day, like who they are. Like it sucks all these parts of a puzzle that look ugly and like muddy and brown. But then you gotta remember that she's the picture, she's the whole thing. The muddy parts and the flowery bits and the sunny sky and sometimes it's hard to, to not look at just the crappy puzzle piece. Take a step back and remember like you're in a bad moment but you have to not let the bad ones outweigh the good ones. And uh, there were so many good moments. As a thank you to Leah for sharing her story, we got her and her grandmother annual tickets to the ballet, a passion they share that brings them together. I'm really excited about the ballet tickets because it's really about like stimulating her memory and making her happy and also having fun at the same time because I actually like it too, so um, I'm just super psyched, I can't wait. 
remember at the end of the day, reflect on all the good things that you've done because those are successes that are not easily won. You fought hard for them and also remember how you did them so you can replicate them for later.